financial education. It's important and it's a foundational life skill. Our earlier video tackled ways to plan out the year to cover the prescribed issues in the program. This video responds to a few experienced teachers who suggest ways to teach financial education and to make your classes more interesting and relevant to your students. Some common themes emerged. Quick lessons and student worksheets to make students more active. Courses and activities need to be practical. Students wanted and needed to be more money smart. Project-based learning was encouraged, but in a way that also responds to the goals of the provincial programs. And teachers stress the need to give students the correct information, or rather to help break through all the misinformation they are receiving. This course should be treated as a prerequisite to being money smart. I make it as real to them and their future as possible. And money smart implies dealing with specific situations that involve money and ones that students are likely to face. A few key EDUFAN chapters come to mind. Chapters that contain good examples of students learning how to use money in realistic ways. These also involve situations they're living through right now. Related to experiences in the real world, the students want practical knowledge. Certainly learning how to budget will help students to be smarter about their money. The budget unit is a good example of a practical lesson because first it begins with a few fictional situations to examine in which students learn certain concepts and practices, but then students get to work through their own budget in what's often referred to in the workbooks as a real life scenario. Similarly, in the Paying Taxes chapter, students are learning the concept related to taxes and how the taxation system works. But in the end, the teaching unit offers to make it practical. And because the kids want to know about money and how it really works for them, they get to fill in their own simulated tax form at Revenue Quebec. The real world scenarios students will have to deal with in their near future include differences in interest rates on loans. The unit on what type of credit to choose is a good example of this kind of discussion. The activities you find on Learn will often suggest using Quebec-based sites like Educalois. But as one teacher pointed out, there are some great resource sites, Canada-wide and in other provinces. It's important that students are equipped to make informed consumer choices. I get them to compare the cost of a new cell phone purchased on a credit card versus a vacation. This chapter focuses on the cell phone and why people need them and how much they really cost depending on the plan you choose. I do quick lessons followed by a consolidation activity or worksheet that is personalized. Worksheets are a good alternative to lecturing. Students are more engaged when they have clear and concise tasks they work on with their peers. One that comes to mind, ironically enough, is one that is more legal in nature, namely the Rights and Responsibilities of Consumers and Merchants series. In the Google slide deck that is available, students tour more than five videos of Alexi as she navigates the purchase of her new bike. Students learn about different warranty types and their rights when making a purchase. Then they are asked to put themselves in her shoes and make a warranty choice they can justify as being best for them. Worksheets, discussion topics, quizzes and tests. This chapter, like so many, features workbooks for students to use and lots to discuss. But does it include quizzes and tests? Well, not exactly. What it does include is a way to evaluate student work. The single competency in the course remains the focus of evaluation to take a position on financial issues and an evaluation grid based on their criterion appropriate justification of the choice is included to check students work. Read the program and framework from the ministry teach the required concepts because learning key concepts helps students to better grasp new topics and course content. To take a position on the financial issues, students need to assess situations, examine different options, 
put their position in perspective and occasionally consider legal aspects as well. Those competency key features actually help when designing concrete, practical, and engaging activities, and projects too. This year, we are producing two new learning and evaluation situations, and these help students practice various features of the competency in different ways. Structured around key big questions, various tasks help students confront situations involved in a specific financial issue. Similar to the EDUFAN series of chapters, these also contain guides, handouts, and the occasional Google slide. Offering up a slightly longer learning process, these LES also contain final projects and other types of culminating and integration tasks. The LES on consumerism actually asks students to confront the very nature of being a consumer. Not one, but two integration tasks are suggested one where students design an advertising campaign on their own, and another where they must design an app that helps them and others to change the way they spend. Again, these materials provide an opportunity to evaluate student learning. From the student's point of view, various task and tracing documents help them know where they're at. And when students actively know where they're going, they are more likely to be engaged in their learning. And the final integrating tasks, well, these include evaluation grids based on the program requirements that teachers can easily alter and quantify to suit their marking needs. My course is project-based. I teach them the content first, then give them the project to do. Our thoughts exactly. And in the second LES, we also feature another final project that culminates learning in a student-centered project idea. Our second LES in production focuses on something students in Secondary 5 are dealing with during and especially by the end of the year. Many students are already out looking for jobs. Again, this new learning and evaluation situation will include teacher guides along with student workbooks and activity handouts to instruct students and provide traces of learning. And like the first, this LES includes two project ideas after learning about different personality types, the types of jobs that are available, and the salaries and expectations associated with different jobs, students get to actually interview someone in a job of their choosing and produce a podcast for others to hear. And finally, a second project idea is to have students produce a presentation of an interesting career, but for a job fair that could be organized at their school. And again, Evaluation strategies and grids, in line with the main competency criteria and concepts, are provided for each of these project tasks. These two learning situations will likely be available by the time you're watching this video in the Teacher Resources section of the Financial Education Subject Area on Learn. It'll look something like this as part of a search. Or you may also see them featured alongside the appropriate topics in our existing EDUFAN chapters area for teachers only. And so, a few tips from involved and dedicated teachers, along with a ton of targeted resources on Learn, can sure make your financial education classes more interesting and more relevant than ever. Until the next video.